days. Her first is all about the kids and their goats. No pun intended. Let's take a look. Can you believe it? It's that time of year again for the Erie County Fair and of course AM Buffalo had to make a visit. We are here today at the Goat Barn with Genevieve Fontana. It is so good to see you and I see you have some friends over here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is Levi and then that's Remy over there. And how old are they? Um, they're six months old. They were born in February. Yeah. So they're babies still. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you're keeping them busy over here. They're preparing for a competition, I understand. Yeah, so they have a show today, a working goat show. Yeah, how exciting. Well, good luck to them. What Thank kind you. of goats are they? Uh, they're Nigerian dwarfs. Mm -hmm. Now, Genevieve, have you raised these two cuties? Yes, I have, yeah. Um, the Remy, she's the darker one. She was a bottle baby, so we raised her since she's she a couple days old. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what is it like raising them? Um, it's really rewarding. I love animals, so it's awesome. <laughs> Does your family own a farm? Yeah, we own a small hobby farm, so we have a little bit of everything. Yeah. You're from Lancaster. What does it mean to you to be able to come here to the fair right in your backyard and be able to show off these animals that are yours? Um, it means a lot. I think it's so cool that all of Erie County, so I meet a ton of new friends and everything like that, so it's awesome. Let's talk about the competition. Yeah. How have they prepared to compete? <laughs> so um, it's a working goat show, so they're trained to carry a pack, and um, it's kind of mimicked the same way that the woods would be or something to that situation. So we hike often and um, they're carrying, they're allowed to carry 10 to 30 uh, percent of their weight. So Levi, he's 39 pounds, so we're doing about three to four pounds for him. So he's been wearing the pack a lot. Yeah, it looks like Levi is, is getting ready over there. Yeah. He's super excited. Looks like they're both having some fun. Are they difficult to train? Do they listen to you? Uh, sometimes they listen. They kind of have a mind of their own. Yeah. Almost but, like a yeah. puppy, right? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. And and how long has your family been coming to the Erie County Fair? Um, I've been a 4 h -er for nine years, so. Yeah. yeah. So you've been a part of this for quite a bit of your life. Definitely. What has it been like for you to reach this point at, at, in the competition? Um, it means a lot. I started when I was seven or eight, so I started as a clover bud. That's the beginning of 4 h -ers. And then um, to work from the Youth Development Building all the way to raising livestock. So I was, I'm showing a cow this year. It's the first year I'm showing a cow. That's so yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm working all, all the way up to that big animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And what does it mean to you to be able to work with these guys? Um, it means a lot. I think the practice and being a farmer is so rewarding. Uh, it teaches me a lot of responsibility, and so that's awesome. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, and good luck to you guys. They're having some fun over there. They may need to relax before their competition, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Well, it's been such a pleasure here at the Erie County Fair. There's so much more to see and do, and we'll be back in just a little bit. Wow, Court, listen, we cannot wait to show you all the stories. Yesterday, we were this close to watching the calf being born. It was just amazing in the, uh, uh, in the Discovery Center. And we want to thank everybody who came out to the gazebo yesterday and donated a dollar to Variety. And today's Channel 7 Day at the fair. And Mr. Food and Kelly are featured in the cooking area. All right.